नमस्कार अस्सलाम वालेकुम गुड मॉर्निंग विश यू ऑल ए वेरी हैप्पी न्यू ईयर 2024 मे गॉड फुलफिल ऑल योर रिजोल्यूशन दैट यू आर मेकिंग फॉर दिस ईयर इन द सीरीज ऑफ यूटिलिटी टुडे आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द चिलर सो फॉर एनी इंडस्ट्रियल चिलर देयर आर थ्री मेन कंपोनेंट और थ्री मेन एलिमेंट द फर्स्ट वन इज इवेपोरेटर सेकेंड वन इज कंप्रेशन एंड थर्ड वन इज कंडेंसर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द इवेपोरेटर वट डज इट डू The main task of the evaporator is to remove heat from the object being cooled. So evaporator job is to make the object cool. For this purpose, uh, here in the drawing they are showing the blue line that is going here and this line is coming from there for the evaporator. But uh, for our purpose to understand that there are two mediums passing through each other and when they come into contact the cool part taking the energy from the heated parts. or uh, heated liquid then the second one is compressor what does it do compressor main job is to increase pressure to the gas refrigerant because in every chiller in the in uh, medium it is used as a like 40 r407 or something others so its main purpose is to increase pressure to the gas refrigerant so a compressor absorb gas refrigerant from low pressure side so it takes from the lower side it increase the pressure before it goes to the condenser now the third portion uh, that you are going to see is the condenser so third part of the chiller third important part is uh, condenser so what does condenser do because in the compressor in the cycle if you see uh, so evaporator compressor and condenser so condenser main job is to remove heat from the refrigerating medium or the refrigerate refrigerating agent is cooled by a steam of cold air here uh, the steam air or uh, water this uh, three can be used uh, to uh, remove or to remove the energy from the uh, uh, from the refrigerant so uh, the refrigerating passes into a liquid state and is fed into the next process after uh, evapor uh, sorry condenser it goes to the next process so the next process if we talk about the um, the capacity is more than 10 tr in that case usually the chiller company providing one dryer but less than that uh, there is only filter so there may be filter or may be filter dryer so don't get confused that this is uh, something else it is a part of the because of high humidity dryer is used to remove the humidity from the outer part it doesn't have any relation with the water that you want to cool or uh, the other oil or something that you want to cool there is no relation with that only the outer the piping so if that is passing through this so the dryer dries the outer portion because inside it is 100% sealed and uh, interconnected as there is no chance of any kind of leakage so uh, overall uh, if we want to understand how this principle works so here the main task of the evaporator is to remove heat uh, so here i am showing you uh, when i have seen this drawing then i was confused that where from it is coming in uh, and what is coming in so this is coming from your machine uh, in our case it is blow molding so the water coming from the blow molding uh, to this portion and evaporator its the heat is being uh, passing to each other coming in touch to the each other cold and hot and it is removed from here and then whatever uh, the overheated that is going to this uh, medium uh, overheated is uh, going to the environment and uh, the remaining cooled water coming to your oil cooler or you can say to your machine so it's blow molding now the portion which has remained here in the cooling process it has been heated so the heat that's why the yellow color so heat is uh, heated medium it actually refrigerant uh, most of the cases so it is going to the compressor and here compressor just increase the temperature and pressure pressure just to uh, just to flow uh, fastly and then it coming to here here evaporator so here uh, the uh, condenser we are showing fan but some places in place of fan there may be some other mediums like cooled water so whatever based on the capacity of the chiller and then it coming to dryer filter so this one is a dryer filter uh, again as i said earlier that if it is less uh, capacity chiller than dryer not required only filter is more than enough but uh, if the capacity is higher in that case dryer is recommended 
and then it coming to expansion valve expansion valve just maintaining the flow of the water depending on the temperature setting so when you are setting any temperature uh, in your chiller that means you are adjusting to the or you are giving a command to that valve expansion valve then it again coming to the uh, evaporator so this is the start as soon as this water entered here that means a start of the next cycle so that is all uh, for this and this literature i have written here for the uh, person who wanted to learn if you want i can share you uh, the pdf uh, uh, of this literature as well uh, kindly write into the comments uh, thanks and we'll uh, look forward to your like and comment that's all bye bye